Before going to HK for advanced social media program last year, I just joined Nepali Times as a reporter. On April 25, 2015, a magnitude 7.8 earthquake struck central Nepal. Me and my family had to move to temporary shelter. But also, while taking care of my family, I also had to report about what is happening around us, the scale of devastation, destruction, and the casualties. In the immediate aftermath, I reported about survivors and the, and the rescue operations. Later, I accompanied my editor to mountains where entire villages were destroyed by the earthquake. Our reporting trips also became relief missions. We carried medicine, food, books, extra medicine, etc. to these most affected areas. When I returned from HKU after finishing my master's, I saw that many of the buildings in my neighborhood were still propped up with timber beams and several of, several of temples still on scaffold. More than 2.5 million people are still living in temporary shelters. The reconstruction is painfully slow and there is still a lot to report. There is another slow moving disaster to report, how climate change is melting Himalayan mountains. As a science student, I always had deep interest in environmental issues. Before going to HKU, I had already written about pesticides and air pollution. At HKU, I learned different multimedia and digital platform. During my internship at Monetary I produced an interactive multimedia package using these tools, among other things, on environmental issues. During my summer semester, my radio project was about Hong Kong's energy consumption and its move towards renewables. My next assignment is on how mountain communities in Nepal are adapting with climate change. As a part of this, I went to site visits and I talked with local farmers, especially women, to find their newer approaches in agriculture to adapt to a changing climate and to see if there were any significant changes. I'll be publishing several multimedia packages using the friend digital tools and platform I'll be during my master's at HKU. Thank you, HKU.